Well, hello there, guys. It's been a long time since we played some Pike and Shot campaigns. I always like to give that disclaimer that I am a Slytherin employee, so if you guys think that's going to affect my gameplay or the way I enjoy this game, feel free to think that. To be perfectly honest, I don't play games unless I enjoy them, especially since this is one of the older games um, in our catalog. So I'm going to be playing the Battle of Fornovo as Francesco Gonzaga, the Marquess of Mantua. We're in command of the forces of the Holy League, raised to oppose King Charles of France's invasion of Italy. The French are marching home to France following their conquest of Naples. We've decided to attack them as they march past our position on the other bank of the river Taro. Your men-at-arms outnumber those of the enemy and your army is deployed in multiple lines with proper reserves as dictated by the scientific Italian art of war. Now we want to make sure to crush the French so they never return and if you guys enjoy this video make sure to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel subscribe and let me know if you want to see some more pike and shot. Okay in the guys the For enemy now, army is in column of march on the other side of the river Taro. The rest of our army has not yet crossed, but is ready to fight, and the waters of the river are low. But rain overnight has rendered the bank slippery, so our first line has already advanced across the river. Now, of course, we're trying to really teach the French a lesson here and make sure they don't return to our beautiful Italian soil, but we're not sure how it's going to work. Apparently, we have the Italian art of war on our side, and that counts for a bit, for sure. Um, I'm going to go ahead and jump right in. We apparently have a little bit to spend. I want to actually grab some skirmishing crossbowmen. I've never used them before. Um, some Italian pikemen, of course. I'm probably going to take two of these units because they're useful if I can. Apparently, I cannot. Um, some Italian gendarmes. They're amazing, but I think I want to take the Lanchekil. Good quality mercenary German pikemen and double-handed swordsmen. I mean, that sounds pretty badass. And, of course, we'll take not the Italian mounted crossbowmen, but the gendarmes and maybe... Some Stradiotes. These are light horse lancers. Uh, I don't have any experience using them, but I can't wait to see how it is. So there we go. It looks like the French are going to be, or it looks like our men are going to be the first to advance. These are definitely Italian gendarmes, but I'm guessing we're only controlling the first part of the army here. Uh, we may not be controlling that other part of the army. Uh, we're going to have to go ahead and see how it goes. Or maybe, is it possible that we're playing the French? No, it's not. Now, it is our turn. Of course, I'm guessing that that part is not under our control. Only this one is. So we want to immediately start moving forward. Forward. I see no reason why we can't just get up and close up close and personal with the enemy um, as soon as possible they are obviously turned away from us so if we were able to smash them in the flanks with these units I mean that would be unbelievable do I think that we're going to be able to do that probably not um, I don't think they're going to make that big of a mistake to let us hit them in the flanks so we do need to be aware of uh, the many possibilities here but I'm thinking right now my main goal is to move up quickly and efficiently of course, using the glorious Italian art and science of war and uh, try to smash the enemy here. I do hope that eventually I get control of these Italian gendarmes, all of these Italian cavalry units, because I think their charges could really break the enemy. Uh, let's get those crossbowmen up. A few of our forces are taking quite a while to get over here, and that does concern me. Um, like these guys all the way back here, you know, a unit of pikemen that large, it's going to take them a while to actually get into position, uh, but maybe we can use them to hit the enemy on their right flank, our left flank, of course. Okay, here we go. Let's get over the River Taro. It's a small river. Um, it's nothing huge, um, and it's actually not very full, so hopefully we can get over there quickly. Let's end the turn. And, of course, the dastardly French are going to go ahead and do their turn. Here we go. Melee phase. I'm guessing they're probably going to turn um, or they're probably going to turn towards us. Um, that was right. Um, and, yeah, look at that. They're already getting their crosswomen up close and personal. But um, we need to be careful. Obviously, I want to smash those crossbowmen units, but I'm mostly concerned about the Swiss keel that they have hired. They definitely have a lot of mercenaries. Uh, and I'm sorry, guys. We will get rid of the help messages here and just with one shot they managed to disrupt our units i mean that's not good that means that the crosswomen they have here are very very efficient okay so they're still disordered but 
they're certainly turning towards us getting ready to form a line of attack and it looks like look at how quickly they got those cannons out on the field that's going to be a problem for sure there is a residual shooting phase which i think is only going to affect uh the enemy units um because they've already used their crosswoman shot but no we're still getting hit a little bit no melee phase yet but it is our turn now and i do believe yes these units are under our control. So let's take a look at what kind of units we're working with here. These are Italian gendarmes. Uh, they do not have the ability for missile attack, but we're also not close enough to charge the enemy. So I'm just going to get up close and personal here, and that's the problem. Those crossbowmen are going to be a constant pain in our ass. There's just no other way to put it. Um, but we need to close ranks quickly before these units right here, the gendarmes, get close to us and hopefully smash their line. I'm going to move the Arcobaziers up, but I don't believe we're close enough to open fire on the enemy yet. We're definitely not. But we can at least get prepared with our infantry forces, let's say, uh, and hold off against the French while the rest of our forces arrive at the battle. Okay. Why am I speaking in a French accent? Shame on me. Must be working for the enemy. Well, let's keep on going. Grab the crossbowmen here. And we're really just trying to get everybody across quickly. Uh, because if we want to set up here and be effective, we've got to have everybody over at about the same time and definitely in about the same location. Uh, that's my goal right now. I'm going to bring the Arcobaziers up just to see if we can get some musket fire on the enemy. Of course, once again, we're going to have to wait just a bit. Uh, I'm even going to move some Arco Viziers over here in not the greatest position. There we go. The crossbowmen are going to fire at me, and I cannot fire out of range. Now, that's one benefit over muskets is apparently the crossbowmen have much better range than we do. Of course, our crossbowmen here were able to fire at the enemy. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's keep on moving. With anybody that can move, of course. Okay. Bring some more cavalry forward. Let's get those Landschick Kniel. The Landschnecks are uh, German mercenaries, I believe, but they are really, really good. Um, and now I want to see if we can close ranks with some of these enemy units. So we can definitely charge the crosswomen, and it could be a trap. Very, very possible, but we're not gonna we're not gonna take that into account. And now this is not good. We're up against some gendarmes, uh, and uh, they've definitely led us into a trap for sure. Now over here, we are gonna charge. They're going to remain because the chance of victory is actually not huge for us, but we did manage to disrupt the enemy unit, and I would love to go ahead and continue that disruption with another charge, but it looks like we're not in range. So I'm going to get in range, obviously, um, at the cost of possibly some damage to my own men. Uh, and I'm also going to charge the flanks here of these crossbowmen. Now, these are Italian mounted crossbowmen. They're not made to be charging uh, other units, to be quite honest, but <clears throat> they can get the job done. Uh, the Italian gendarmes, they are not made to, well, they're not made for close combat, let's put it that way. Uh, however, we're still going to try to use them. I'm going to take this unit here and charge uh, the Italian crossbowmen, or excuse me, the French crossbowmen. Um, well, there's a lot of different mercenaries in these in these wars, so for all we know, they could be Italian mercenaries. Um, but I'm going to try to get away from those Swiss keels. So I'm going to move these cavalry units over here, and I'm going to move these cavalry units this way just to try to get out of range of those guys. I don't want to have to deal with them. And then we can meet the Swiss keels in battle with the rest of our men over here and hopefully uh, be able to hold out against them. We can't forget we've got some more men over here, uh, some Stradiots, light cavalry, uh, that I'm going to be moving in to attack the enemy forces. And actually, some of these guys may be able to wipe out the enemy cannons. So I'm going to be sending them really behind the enemy um, to hopefully accomplish that task. Okay, I think we've done everything we can. Let's end the turn and hope for the best. Man, those crossbowmen are vicious. All right, here we go, melee. And we've broken already, broken an enemy crossbowman unit. That's pretty awesome. Of course, our guys are going to ch chase them like mad dogs. And that's not always great. We managed to break another unit of enemy crossbowmen. And I hope that our horses will charge into this unit of enemy crossbowmen. They are evading, so they're definitely chasing them. Uh, and that's awesome. If we can just mess this line up, um, we stand a much better chance of beating the French. Now, this is not good. I thought we were out of range, but we're not. And those spearmen are definitely going to do some serious damage to our cavalry. Uh, in both instances, we actually managed to fight back quite a lot. Look at that. The Swiss kill lost 40 men. We only lost six. So we got very lucky there. But we can't be reckless anymore. 
Um, now the enemy cavalry is going to charge ours. This is probably going to be a very even fight. But it gives us some cause for concern, to say the least. And once again, they broke that cavalry. I don't blame them one bit. But now, of course, their spearmen are charging us, and we have a chance to react to this. Um, if we can draw these spearmen away from each other, or these pikemen away from each other, shame on me for saying spearmen, uh, then we really do stand a chance at breaking them. And if we can break those pikemen, I really believe that we can win this battle pretty easily. Unfortunately, our forces are getting pounded by crossbows. Uh, there's not really much we can do about that, but just hope for the absolute best and uh, hope that that residual shooting phase is not too brutal on our men. Nice shooting, boys. And those cannons are definitely going to do some damage. 18, my goodness. All right, the melee phase. Of course, their spearmen are going to charge here. We're continuing to fight with the cavalry, just very, very even, to be honest with you. All right, it's our turn, and now we must do something about the enemy here. Um, I'm thinking that, how do we best deal with this situation? I'm going to turn towards the enemy, showing my flank, which is not great. I'm also going to take this Spearman unit. I'm going to turn towards the enemy, or the Landschecht unit, excuse me. And I'm going to do the same with this Spearman unit. We're going to try to catch these guys as best off guard as we can. Uh, I don't want the Italian gendarmes to get trapped into a fight they can't escape, so we're going to be very careful with them. Uh, but we do still have our Italian mounted crossbowmen. And what I think I want to do with these guys is go ahead and charge the enemy uh, artillery. Totally disperse those heavy guns. We don't have to worry about them anymore. But we can't get complacent here. We've got to keep attacking. I am going to go ahead and get over here with the Stradiots. Uh, so that if we need to, we can attack the enemy flank. And with our Italian mounted crossbowmen, I guess we can go ahead and carry out another charge. Um, just to dislodge these guys even more. So a flank attack, obviously they're going to rout. We're just making sure they don't ever return to the battle, and I don't think that they will, to be quite honest with you. Okay, the Arquebusiers. Once again, I am going to be tr uh, turning these Arquebusiers over here uh, to face the enemy. I don't think we're close enough to get a direct shot, but 17, that's not bad at all. Let's take our, cr our crossbowmen as well. Like I said... I see those enemy spear units as probably the most dangerous units on the battlefield. Could be making a major mistake thinking that, but that's just how I see it right now. So we're going to do everything we can to destroy those Landschecks uh, and make sure that they never come back. Or excuse me, the Swiss Kiels. We are the ones with the Landschecks. Make sure that those Swiss understand that uh, this is not a place where they should be. They should not be in Italy. This is our land, and uh, if they're going to try to take it, we're going to make sure that they feel the pain. So here we go. Ooh, it's not looking good for the Italian gendarmes. Here we go. So mass, doing a mass charge over here on the enemy's right flank is pretty good. Like I said, I'm just trying to disrupt the enemy as much as I can. Uh, ooh, our Arquebusier is already taking damage. And I am going to fire at the crosswomen. Really trying to form a defensive line here. But it's easier said than done. Fire on the gendarmes. Of our crosswomen. I think with a unit in the way, we're not going to be able to use uh, our much needed missile attack here. So I'm just going to try to get them over here on the enemy flank. Hopefully, we're close enough to do some damage to the enemy crosswomen. Uh, it's not a lot, but it'll, it will do, obviously. And we've still got this massive part of our army that's moving forward. It's going to take them a while to get up here, but we can't just leave them behind. Uh, well, to put it simply, we need these guys. I want to make sure that our Arquebusiers turn the correct way. They don't need to be running away from the enemy force. Not only that, but we can get another shot on the enemy. And it looks like our muskets are doing their job. Uh, 28 hits or 28 casualties on an enemy unit is not too shabby at all. That's pretty good. Anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying this battle. If you are, make sure to hit that like button and leave a comment below. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And we'll make sure to complete this battle in the future. Um, episode 2 should be coming up pretty soon, but make sure to hit that like button again on this channel. The way we determine what series comes out first uh, is by the amount of likes it gets, by the amount of comments it gets, etc. That's why Graviteam Tactics and uh, Ultimate General Civil War are almost regular uploads on this channel. So keep that in mind. Thanks so much guys. Take care and have an awesome, awesome day.